Hello everybody, welcome back. This is Mandy and we're going to do a 12 inch cradled wood board. Um, we're gonna use the bloom recipe and we're gonna do a negative space swipe, I hope. So I have cut the back of the board with painter's tape. I cover the hole because I'm really messy. And I have a new um, 20 inch spinner. Let me zoom you out so you can see a little bit better. It's like a wood Lazy Susan, so it's not going to go crazy fast like an aluminum cake spinner or cake whatever. But um, for bigger pieces and swipes, you don't necessarily need to go fast. So I wanted to try it. So what I did is I put press and seal on the top over the wood and I did I put the Loli Beffy mat. I feel like you guys aren't going to be able to see this. The Loli Beffy mat over it, which is 17 inches, um, to help catch some of the runoff. And then we can use the runoff for paint skins if we want to or whatever. So, I'm also going to try a different pillow today. I'm going to try the white Color Place satin. I like the black satin, works great for me. So, and I know some really wonderful artists use the white. So um, I know some people do well with the semi-gloss. I'm not too big of a fan of the semi-gloss, but if it works for you, then woohoo. But you know, it's a lot cheaper too. And supposedly the bubble issues are less horrible. Um, so let's give it a shot, right? Um, I had to order some more black, so I went ahead and ordered some white while I was at it. So this is not gonna spin with a lot of force. So one thing I'm going to have to consider when I'm putting paint down is how much more effort I'm going to have to put to get it off. So maybe don't go crazy with overdoing the pillow paint, huh? So, um, and the container you see me pouring it out of is an olive jar. We go through a lot of olives in this house, so we might as well repurpose those, is my thought. So. All I'm doing is spreading it around a little bit so it doesn't sit here and get that weird circle ring that happens if I take too long to lay things down. So I'm just going to help it get to the edges and then I'm going to gently spin it to even it out. So the colors we're using today, I think, um, I have a couple boom gel colors that I haven't used yet, well a lot of them, and I wanted to find a way to incorporate them with some of the other colors I wanted to use in a swipe from Primary Elements, one of them being uh, Glass Wing, Glass Wings from the new set, because it's gorgeous, and I have a lot of ideas for that one, because I've really been in a very peach mood, and it's a beautiful color. So I'm going to show you our colors, um, and I wanted to use um, this burgundy color, I hope you guys can see that. And another one of, so I love the parrotfish green. We're gonna use Mally Ringneck Blue today. Um, so I actually had the idea of using those two together and then adding some complementary other colors. And um, while I was kind of waiting to pour, I went ahead and looked up the some color palettes for a plum color and they happen to be colors I already wanted to use together, similar colors, so I was like, woohoo. So I, of course, have a hard time, sorry, I'm getting a wipey from my hand. I have a hard time just sticking to some basic colors, um, but one of them was a teal color, one of them was like a Prussian or navy blue, and I was like, cool. So, and then peach, and like a sea foam type green. So we're gonna do a couple things, and just level this out a little bit, and I really hope this works, because not coming off here very quickly. And the weight of the paint is also way over here on this side, so we'll see. Hopefully I protected it really well, so if it doesn't work out, that can be like, back you go. Okay, I have a lot of paint on here. So one thing I will say about this paint is it's pretty thick, which as pillow paints go, is not a bad thing at all. Um, 
A thick pillow paint will help hold your design. If your paint is too thin, it'll move quickly, it'll spread out well, but it might be a little bit more difficult to hold your design. So, for what it's worth. Okay, so let me make sure that I'm actually recording I'm a little bit gun shy since the last time when I thought I recorded the whole flipping thing and I didn't. <clears throat> okay, so this is Indigo from Matisse. It's really beautiful, deep, rich blue. And I really wanted this pop of blue in here for some contrast because some of the other colors I'm using are going to somewhat complement one of the boom gel colors. Well, not exactly. But um, I really, that's one of the reasons I wanted it in there. And then we're also going to use Aurora. I have a hard time saying that word. I also can't say horror or whatever very well. Um, I don't know if you can see the beautiful shift. So this is a like a black pearl base with like a peachish red shift. So since we're going to be using the peach color, I thought it would be fun to dump some of this in here, but in a different layer so that there would be some like red peachy color shift on top of that blue. And of course, as we swipe, that color will interfere and pop in with the other colors. And I just wanted to use it because if we're honest, it's just delicious and it's one of my favorites. So yeah, it's going in. Uh, I am going to use Boom Gel. I'm not going to use it completely at the top because Boom Gel is very self-centered and it works great, but it will continue to react with your cell activator. So if that's what you're wanting it to do, it's fantastic. But if you don't want to lose too much composition um, with it doing that, which in a swipe, I don't want it to go completely nuts on the cells because I don't want to lose what we swipe. So that's my logic. I don't know if I'm right about that, but it's beautiful stuff. So this is Mally Ringneck Blue. And what I have learned um, from all the wonderful tutorials that Shelly has given us um, is a little goes a long way. So I'm trying to be a good student and remember what she has kind of shared with us and some of the lives that she's done kind of sharing her experience with boom gels. So um, I'm still very new to them, so I'm still learning. I'm going to throw Cypress in I don't know where yet. I have a little bit of this color left and I love it a lot. So this is called Tropic Blue. This is from the Jelly Bean set, the color art. Um, and it's just gorgeous and it kind of goes along with this color palette I had in mind. So I was like, perfect, we'll use it all up. Um, by the way, don't forget to save yourself 20% off from anything on the Color Art website. My discount code is below. I try to provide as many discount codes as possible for you guys. Um, Boom Gel, 15% off. Promo code is also below from Pixel Paint Designs. Um, Aubrey also sells Australian Floetrol on her site, and I believe it's back in stock. So use that 15% off, and if you're needing to get some Australian flow trial, you can order it right here in the States and ship it quickly to you. It's the magic sauce, as, as we all know. Now, I used a lot of this color, so if I do any cypress, I probably should use very little because, again, I always have too much paint. I am a little nervous about how much pillow paint I have. If you recall the prism pour swipe I did on a black pillow, I had a lot of pillow paint and I was a little heavy handed with the uh, swipe tool and I smooshed a lot of it into the pillow. It still turned out pretty, but it was a lot less colorful than it would have been if I had done better with that. And I have a lot of pillow paint down here. So it's <laughs> a little nervous. All right. so. I think I am just going to put a little bit of this cypress just right on the top. Um, nah. Let's do glass wings. This is 
from the new Bling It set from Primary Elements. This is in the same set as Aurora, not Primary Elements from Color Art. So this set can be used in resin and in acrylic pouring. And I can't wait to see some of these in resin. I already have some ideas for like some, um, some vases and some trays. Just have to have time to do some of that stuff. Um, okay, I love this color, so I'm going crazy with it because I want it to be Maybe not the star of the show, but like, like at least in the kind of the starting lineup kind of a thing. Sorry, I ramble when I'm tired. Okay, so ah. doing this is always super therapeutic. And honestly, sometimes the prep work to paint, like if you're going to do something that takes like what we're doing here, this might take. I don't know, 20, 30 minutes to do, but you know, I'll be priming wood boards and taping them up and all kinds of stuff for, this is Cypress by the way, this is Holbein, I got it at Blick. Um, but yeah, you spend what feels like an eternity to get ready to paint, <laughs> but sometimes even that can be relatively therapeutic, you know what I mean? So, you know what I didn't do? Oh my gosh. And I just said I was not going to do too much toward the bottom. I didn't put the burgundy. This is Baronia Burgundy. Now I'm going to have to add some more color at the top. Or just take my chances, you know? Oh my gosh, I can't believe I did that. It's because I'm over here talking. And all I'm going to do, I think, is just drizzle a little bit of this kind of along with it. I think in a swipe, it's a little bit different than doing the top layer of a bloom. In a swipe, you're kind of smooshing it all around, so it's probably a little bit different. I can't believe I did that, y'all. You know what I might also do, just so it still shows a little bit, is put it like in a thin line over here so it's not like, oh, you forgot me. Yeah. All right, let's see how this turns out. And I've like revolved the whole color palette around that color and the other boom gel, and then I forgot it. It's the kind of dumb stuff we do sometimes. I do, anyway. And popping bubbles. So, I thought it might be a little bit adventurous. So, I usually swipe with. I usually swipe with this one, which is, I don't know. I think this is number one from Liquitex and this is number two. But I thought about going with this Jamama guy. The only thing I'm concerned about is in order to do that well, I would almost need to start here and kind of come this way and then here and come this way because otherwise it's kind of skinny in the middle. And I might get too many, too much pillow. So I'm torn between big Jamama and, you know, usual guy. <sighs> I don't know. I need to make a decision though, because I need to go to the store, pick up some groceries. So if y'all could tell me, it would help me, but you can't. So if I go like this, I could go swooshy, 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 and then swooshy, I don't know, seems a little beyond my skill level, because then we also need to have some decent cell structure to fall off the side. Let me go with what I know today, because I'm using a different turner, and kind of see how it performs before I mess this up and want to cry. All right, so I'm going to use a blue-black cell activator. I told you guys, if you follow this channel, that you would be seeing a lot of this one. I love it. So this is Atelier Interactive. Um, on the, I don't have the tube handy, but it says blue-black, or it says, like, in parentheses, indigo. 
and I love it. It's like a Prussian blue. It's a beautiful cell activator. Um, looks great even when it gets into like the pillow cells. So let me make sure you can see me. See what I'm doing? Not me. I hope you can't see me. Um, okay. So. And I'm going to wipe this little guy off. We're going to go again. I'm really trying to work on not creating just a big line. Trying to make sure that we have something that kind of goes either direction. And I'm no pro with that by any stretch of the imagination. <clears throat> because then I feel like I fiddle with trying to fix the composition like the whole rest of the time. But that's part of the journey and learning and practicing and um, if you do this, and mind you, I'm no pro, you don't want to put, you just want to get an even thin layer on your little spatula. You don't want to put too much because then it's just going to be just the same reason you wouldn't want to put too much cell activator on a bloom. You don't want it to completely take over. You just want it to do its job. So I didn't do that where you could see me because I'm quite sure I'll drip, but that's the idea. All right, I'm gonna come from here. Uh, no, I'm not. I always think I'm gonna be brave and do, well, maybe I am. Um, oh, I'm so torn. A lot of that's gonna fly off anyway, but the goal is to try to get some movement over here. I have way too much paint on here. So I'm gonna let that react a little bit. I love what it's doing here. I'm gonna put this down. I'm gonna grab a little palette knife in case I have to do a little bit of work. Let me zoom you in a little bit so you can see it. Look at that prettiness. Okay, let me zoom you back out or my autofocus will go crazy. going to have to adjust this just a little bit so that the camera can see the whole thing because I got to move this back just a smidge. So sorry for the, I didn't even pause you guys, but a little bit afraid to pause because what would happen the other day. So sorry if you can't see everything. I love these cloud like pillow cells. So what's kind of fun is when your cell activator swipes just over your pillow, uh, you get almost cloud-like cells. It's really cool looking. All right, so because we have boom gel, we have a ton of cells, which is good. Um, but that's kind of one of the reasons I was gonna put the boom gel toward the bottom, but it worked well, because um, we still have some really beautiful cells. So all I'm doing now is where I swiped into the pillow and it created like um, some weird lines. I'm just taking a skewer through them and kind of making them connect a little bit. Before I spin this, I need to figure out if I'm going to wreck it in an area. And I'm leaning toward, like I love this part, so I, part of me doesn't want to. Um, was gonna go up through here, but that part right there is so cool looking. I just created a Whoville thing again. Why? Why always? I mean, it's my fault. You saw how I drug my skewer right through it, right? But it's okay, I can fix it later. I don't mind it if it's a little Whoville-like. I just don't want it to be. Because when we spin it, it's gonna grow. I don't mind if it's like you know, following the, the design. That's kind of cool, actually. Okay. Um, anywhere else I wreck it, it's going to wreck really nice things. But I don't know, y'all. Um, there's so much paint on here. Let's give it one spin and see. Um, 
Another thing that's fun about bone gel is it gives you so much ability to stretch. There's some faint trace of where I drug the paint here, so I'm just gonna wipe it off. But it gives you the ability to like stretch your design without kind of losing it. So like where I'm blowing into it, it's holding its shape. Some of that is also a good pillow. So, so far this pillow, the Walmart color place satin, it's working out pretty well. So all I'm doing here is just creating a little bit of intentionality because you can't probably see it, but that Aurora is right here. When it dries, I want it to look very intentional. All right, let's spin it. Uh, I'm torn. I feel like I feel like we almost need something to happen over here, but I don't really know what to do unless I come up through here, which is possible. But I'm gonna wreck some of the best part. Oh, I'm so torn, you guys. And then I created some more Whoville. This is where I really like wish Nikki could just pop over and be like, I'll do this part for you. She does an amazing job. I was commenting on one of her videos the other day and I was like, yeah, before I do a swipe, I like have to binge watch your stuff so that I feel like <laughs> I have a clue. All right, so now one of the things I'm gonna to try to do is just scoot that back a little bit. I'm gonna very lightly spin because we have so much paint. I don't wanna lose composition. This thing is gonna work well, but I don't know if it's gonna spin fast enough. starting to come over the sides. I hope that noise is not like super annoying for y'all, but. Okay, we're starting to get some paint on the sides, which is good, but not very fast. Yikes. There's a lot of paint on the sides on these sides, but not in the negative space. It's still coming over the side, so where it's not coming over, I'm gonna help it. You go, you go on the side with your friends. I just feel like it, maybe I worked on it too long and now it's starting to dry. Um, so that's gonna be a challenge with this turner is, and that's honestly the difference between a regular like cake spinner and a Lazy Susan is one of them is meant to go faster with more force and the other one is kind of meant to be gentle like oh pass the salt you know and um that's what this is so but i think for larger pieces like swipes when when i know how it's going to respond it'll be okay i just have to get a feel for it i thought about getting a glass one and i was like no eh, they're so expensive and um I am eventually gonna get one that really opens up to be a, bi a big one. I'm just, storage of something like that is a big deal. So I have one in mind and it's gonna happen eventually. But in the interim, I thought, you know, as we do like 16 foot rounds, 18 foot canvases, something a little bit bigger than the typical eight or 12 inches, it'll make it a little bit easier to work with. And, um, Something like a swipe, like I said, you don't have to go too crazy. I feel like this is like the longest video ever, so if it is, I'm sorry. But hopefully you understand this is part of the process, so if you watch to be part of that, then this is part of that, you know? I don't like how this is, here I go, right? I don't like how this is like a triangle.
maybe I need to just get over that. I love how these look like little cloud cells, especially because I need to learn to do cloud pours. I might be a little bit afraid of them. But I love them. I don't really think that helped anything. Let my little skewer go. Yeah, that definitely did not help anything. If anything, it actually made this more triangular. <sighs> they always look like birds or like Batman. Have you noticed that? All of mine do. I mean, not everybody, not all of yours. This Whoville thing kind of worked out. This one is okay, sort of. But this one is like an eyebrow. All right, let's go for it again. I'm okay with it now. I just um, kind of need to deal with how much pillow paint is left on here because there's a lot right in the middle. So composition wise, not too shabby. Um, she says as she is about to mess up something that's not too shabby. Look, I just tried to help, help it look a little more blended. And then this eyebrow is okay. This kind of looks like an antenna right here, but I'm afraid to mess with that. So I can do a couple of things. I can pick it up. Let's see how much pillow is left in here. That's not too bad. It doesn't jiggle, but it does, it is a little heavy in the middle. So the challenge, and I'm sure some of you know this, but the challenge if you have too much paint left on is it will crack when it dries. Because the bottom, well it can be for a couple reasons. Either your paint's too thick, or your bottom layer dries faster than the top. <clears throat> and then it creates that um, tension and then it breaks it open. You know what I'm really tempted to do if I was a little bit more skilled at these, which is why we practice, really tempted to put some cell activator on this and swipe this. I kind of don't want to mess that up, but maybe like right next to it. But <clears throat> I just feel like I'm still so amateur at that. I don't know that like right now, I don't hate it. What if I do it then and I hate it? You know, right now I kind of love it. So let me know in the comments, would you have taken the chance and done that? Or would you have been a chicken like me? What if we do it in like a really small space that if we screwed it up, it wouldn't be all that noticeable. What do y'all think? Like, um, I don't know, I kind of like that. I don't want to really mess that up. Um, let's do it like right here. Just added a little interest. I don't hate that. What if I did that like right here or in the triangle? Oh, it kind of sank into the paint, huh? But it, I mean, I still don't, I still didn't hate it, right? You guys are probably like, can you finish this video? We are checked out. I don't blame you. I don't really think that that did anything for it in a positive way because we have too much paint there. But I also don't think that it like messed it up. So, wow. I don't know. I think that the days to be ambitious is not today. Alright, so no 
note to self, too much paint. But other than that, composition, not bad. Color choice, great. Um, I gotta get some of this paint off of here, y'all. This, if you were gonna do a swipe with this pillow paint, you could even probably thin it down a little bit. Not a lot, like a little bit. With a little GAC 800, with some water, not a lot. But it's, it's pretty sturdy. And um, I know, I think Pernal uses it and his blooms are always fantastic. So if he uses it, it there must be some val valid uh, worth to it. His are pretty amazing. So I love Glidden, but I really get tired of chasing the measles. And sometimes my solution works great and sometimes it doesn't. So I'm gonna bring you guys down for a close up and then I'm gonna deal with maybe getting a little bit of this white paint off. So thanks for hanging in with me so long. All right, everybody, thanks for being so patient. Um, I know that was long, but like, I like to see the process that people go through. Um, so when I get a chance to share that with you, I'd rather do that than a voiceover. So if I were to hang this on the wall, I think I would probably do oh, this is really close sorry I'd probably go this way so that this cloudy part wasn't sticking up like a horn also this side is probably my favorite again look at how cell reactive that paint is especially having a boom gel in the mix they sell up so well I love these weird looking cloud things I love them, especially because I've been wanting to practice with some clouds. Also, as we continue to open this up, we get more pillow cells like we have here. I'm kind of peeking through, and the place where I added a tiny bit of cell activator even opened up and created some cells. So there's still a little bit too much paint on here, so I hope it dries well. But I just think the color palette... Um, was a great choice. I'm not trying to pat, pat myself on the back, but the blue black cell activator goes right along with the the peach, the glasswing butterfly, um, the burgundy, which is the burgundy color is really more of a plum burgundy, so it has some purple in it. The indigo you can see just creates a little bit of contrast, which is exactly what I wanted. Um, the Cypress is probably not as noticeable. What was the other one? I'm on the other side now. The, tr the other one, the Tropic Blue, is such a phenomenal color from Color Art. And you can see how well it blended, or not blended, but matched the, um, the peach and the plum. I just, I'm in love with the colors. I really, really am. So let me know what you think. Um, hopefully, hopefully you're still with me and you haven't given up. Um, but this is a 12 inch cradled wood round from Loli Beffy. Um, don't forget the discount codes in the description box for color art and the boom gel stain. If you're looking for some Australian flow trawl, it's probably the time to hit up Pixel Paint Designs because I think it's back in stock. And of course, um, feel free to use our Blick shopping link when you buy your art supplies. And um, I'm working on another potential thing for you guys, but check out the things in the box below. Let me know what you think of this. Did, did you like the composition? I don't feel like we had too much Whoville this time. Do you like the colors? What do you think? Um, so yeah, thank you for, for all your support. Um, please like and subscribe if you're not already. Love you guys. Have a great day.